Hey, what's up guys? It's Axel here and today's video is going to be about an earbud. It's going to be about the BGVP DX7, what they call a flagship. So I will let you guys know my honest opinions about it and let's begin with the unboxing experience because that part is nice. So you get this um, premium looking carrying case and of course these are the earpieces inside. I will get to that in a moment. But let me show you first what comes in the box. You have a two foam covers, red and blue. And then you get a different set of foam covers again. And another set of foam covers again. Um, you get a modular cable, which you can remove this connection like so. And insert it again. And you get, of course, 3.5 and 4.4. You get these removable um, ear hooks, like which kind of like open like so, like you can open them and put them on the cable in case you want to wear it like a traditional uh, IM, for example. And then, of course, we get a pair <coughs> of um, tuning filters, like these can be removed. I will show you on the earpiece itself. Um, this is the earpiece uh, of the earbud itself. It has a multicolored earpiece, as you can see, it kind of looks like purple purple and green color, basically purple, blue and green. Uh, and you can see here, this is the tuning filter they talk about. You kind of like unscrew it like so. And then it comes out and you can insert the silver one. I will tell you guys my experience using uh, both. In terms of fit and comfort, um, I have no issues with it using uh, foam and without foam, but I don't recommend foam and I will explain why in a moment. And that's pretty much it. So let's talk about the sound quality. Um, here is the part I will talk about it. So I will start the description with this colored nozzle because this is the stock nozzle that comes with this uh, um, earbud. And then I will tell you what are the differences with the silver nozzles, which you can see right here. So I didn't measure them, of course, because measurements for earbuds are not necessarily accurate, but I listened to them and I will compare them in the end to one of my favorite earbuds at this price range. So let's begin with the sound description. How do they sound like? Let me be clear. Um, these are just my impressions and I will just say how they sounded to my ear. First of all, the bass. There is a good amount of bass. It has definitely has a strong presence, which is nice. But the thing is, it has a slam, of course, and it has a punch when the track calls for it. But I mean, for me, when I listen to it, um, to my ears, it sounded a bit flabby, a bit bloated and muddy. Um, not f like hugely muddy, but it, it is muddy. Like, and I felt it covered up a lot of the lower mid-range specifically. And the mid-range itself is definitely interesting. But let me talk first about the lower mid-range because this is the area where a lot of the male vocals and many of the instruments live. And I found them to be a bit recessed and a bit covered or veiled at the same time. Like I, I wasn't necessarily getting the clarity I go for when I listen to this one. And what I mean is that male vocals sounded a bit in the background, a bit covered, um, like many instruments like cellos and low end piano notes sounded a bit covered as well. I wasn't get getting that full pop, you know, vocal pop effect that I like to get. I didn't hear a lot of the things clearly. And that's why one reason I didn't recommend the foam, because when I use the foam with either nozzle, this effect became much more, you know, sounds became much more covered. When I removed them, I perceived a lot more clarity. Another thing is that the mid-range itself didn't exactly sound tonally correct or didn't sound natural to me as well. There is this hollow effect I kept getting from the vocals. I'm not sure why, maybe it's me, but definitely it kind of felt like, you remember guys, if you like invert one of the polarity of the cables of an IM and you, you know that kind of effect, sure, it, it kind of gave it a good soundstage effect. I kind of get that. But the vocals didn't sound natural to me. The instruments didn't sound natural to me. It kind of like sounds far out there and it has that hollow effect I could describe even as a honky or sometimes nasally. Um, female vocals are better than the male vocals, but still they are not forward as I like them to be. And if I raise the volume, they became too much. There's definitely an unevenness uh, I'm detecting in the mid-range of this IM. And when we move on to the treble, yeah, uh, I don't know, man. It just sounded a bit dark to me, a bit um, 
a bit slightly peaky. Like some things are emphasized. Like if you hear a simple crashes, simple crash, for example, it sounded a bit blunt to me. Like it sounds like a bit dull, a bit covered in a way, but still some parts of the higher frequencies, I can hear them. So take that as what you will. Now, when I use this other nozzle, the silver nozzle, now things improved dramatically. And I'm not sure exactly why did they use this stock nozzle. Maybe it's my ears, maybe it's my preference, I'm not sure, but um, like it still retained a lot of the sound characteristics. And by the way, this IM would have what I would say is an average level of detail. It's, a, it's okay for the price. But when I put on the silver nozzle, what happened was I felt the bass is different. It's, it's not as pronounced, or maybe the way the mid-range is tuned gave me that feeling that's not focused on the bass now. And the lower mid-range that I said was a bit muddied and covered up started to improve, started to get clarity, started to get a bit more forward. Female vocals as well became more forward. A lot of the instruments like began to be more forward and the lower treble even started to improve. So it, it's definitely improved. Like I prefer the silver nozzle compared to the traditional one. So that's my experience with it. But again, still, I didn't feel that it sounded completely natural to me. Like this is not what I would call a natural sound. I'm not sure. Again, like, this is just my experience. And I will go on to the comparison segment and I will mention one I, uh, earbud that I used uh, in this comparison, but it's close to the price range. This is the Duno Alpha uh, 3. Now, this one doesn't have a modular cable. I think the BGVP is better in that regard. And it doesn't have even a removable connector. The BGVP has an MMCX connector, as you can see. But in terms of the sound, the difference between them is literally night and day. Like the Duno Alpha 3 is just pushing on with clean bass shelf that is just detailed and textured and has a, a lot of good quality sound going on for it. Um, again, when we go on to the mid-range, things sound like correct. You know, this is what I expect to hear. Like things sound natural. That's how I would describe the Duno Alpha 3. Uh, there is an emphasis, of course, uh, on the Duno Alpha 3 in the, on the upper mid-range, but it's not shouty, it's not harsh. And definitely things sound correct, instruments sound correct. Like with the BGVB, it's like a unique experience for me. Like, for example, like some of like, the instruments like an acoustic guitar, right? Parts of it are, are, are clear and emphasized, like the nylon strings, the upper ends of the notes are okay, but the lower parts, you know, the, the thick parts of the... of the acoustic guitar don't sound like detail. They sound a bit muffled and they sound, again, hollow, for, for a lack of a better word. Very warm and hollow and covered. You don't hear the same clarity that you feel on the upper ends of the acoustic guitar. I'm not sure. But on the Duno, you get definitely lots of clarity. Better detail, lots of clarity. And the treble, while not like, you know, super airy or detailed, but still very detailed, has good treble extension. I mean, yeah, that's that's my take on it. Uh, yeah, that's that's my uh, review of the BGV. But this one was a surprise. Maybe it's not for me, but it's for you, and I totally respect that. But that's what I hear with the BGV DX7. And until then, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.